the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, known as SOHO, was launched as a joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency in the mid-1990s to study the Sun's outer atmosphere and its effect on space weather. Positioned between the Earth and the Sun at a stable Lagrange point, its purpose was purely scientific – to monitor solar storms, study solar wind and warn Earth of coronal mass ejections that could threaten satellites and electrical grids. However, among its vast catalogue of images, some have revealed anomalies that defy simple explanation. One such image shows what appears to be a massive disc-shaped object positioned dangerously close to the Sun, igniting debate among scientists, analysts and the public alike. In the image, the Sun blazes with golden fire, its corona swirling with magnetic loops and violent eruptions of plasma. Yet, just beyond this chaotic brilliance, a circular object hovers serenely in the void. It is smooth, symmetrical, and sharply defined against the dark backdrop of space. Unlike the irregular fragments of solar debris or camera artifacts often seen in space imagery, this object possesses an unmistakable uniformity, as though constructed with deliberate design. The disk seems to reflect or emit its own light, maintaining clarity despite the sun's overwhelming radiation. What makes this sighting so striking is the contrast between the environment and the object's apparent stability. The sun's outer regions reach temperatures of millions of degrees, and its radiation could vaporize most materials known to human science. Yet, the disk in the image appears unaffected, neither distorted by heat nor erased by the blinding solar brilliance. To withstand such proximity, the object would require technology or materials beyond anything currently understood. For this reason, Many researchers consider the image one of the most compelling examples of an unidentified structure near our star. Those who have studied the image said that many times these mysterious objects appear suddenly. Some suggest that the immense electromagnetic outburst from a solar flare could have briefly interfered with whatever method of cloaking or concealment the object employed, revealing its true outline against the sun's corona. Others believe the object entered the frame intentionally emerging from the darkness of space and positioning itself close to the sun, perhaps for reasons unknown. The idea of artificial craft or probes using the sun as a point of study or energy source has long intrigued researchers. If an advanced civilization had developed technologies capable of harnessing stellar energy, it might send enormous vessels or collectors to orbit or extract power from stars. In this light, the disc-shaped object could represent a form of solar engineering, a construct designed to absorb or redirect energy on a scale beyond human comprehension. Some have compared it to the concept of a Dyson sphere or Dyson satellite, a theoretical structure built to capture a star's output for technological use. This sighting is not an isolated incident. Over the years, numerous images from both SOHO and NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory have shown geometric shapes, spheres, cubes and elongated cylinders appearing near the Sun. Some appear to move intelligently, changing position between frames in ways inconsistent with random debris. Others remain motionless despite the violent solar winds that should scatter them. The consistency of these anomalies, along with their symmetry and persistence, has convinced many that what the observatory occasionally records are not mere imaging errors, but evidence of purposeful activity occurring near our star. For decades, official explanations have attributed such sightings to pixel errors, cosmic rays striking the camera sensors, or reflections within the telescope's optics. While some cases clearly fit those descriptions, the precision and structural appearance of certain objects, particularly this large disk, have kept the debate alive. The human mind can easily recognize patterns, but the symmetry of this particular anomaly seems beyond coincidence. Its near-perfect circular outline, its placement within the intense solar environment, and its apparent self-illumination distinguish it from the random noise typical of image artifacts. Adding to the mystery is the fact that the object has appeared in multiple frames taken minutes apart, suggesting continuity rather than a single imaging glitch. Its persistence implies motion or sustained presence, and its clear contrast against the background suggests it exists within the same field of observation as the Sun itself. To observers, this indicates that the object is not a result of reflection or distortion within the telescope lens, but a physical entity present in space. The implications of such a presence are vast. 
If the object is indeed real and not a product of optical interference, then humanity may be witnessing technological activity in one of the most extreme environments imaginable. The proximity of the object to the sun suggests it is either studying, harvesting, or perhaps monitoring solar activity. Some theories propose that it could be an autonomous probe sent to gather data or energy. Others imagine it as a form of surveillance device, quietly observing the inner solar system from a location few would ever think to look. Reports of unidentified objects near the Sun date back decades, with amateur astronomers and independent researchers cataloguing strange formations seen in solar observatory data. Many of these objects display consistent geometric structure, suggesting they may belong to a fleet or recurring presence. The Sun, as a source of both energy and concealment, would serve as a logical location for such craft. Any civilization capable of interstellar travel would understand that the Sun's intense radiation and gravitational field make it an effective hiding place, a natural barrier to human observation. Even more intriguing are claims that some of these objects appear to move in synchronization with solar phenomena, almost as if responding to flares or coronal ejections. If this is true, it could suggest that the objects are not merely enduring the Sun's violent activity, but interacting with it in ways we do not yet understand. Perhaps they are stabilizing fields of plasma, harvesting charged particles, or manipulating solar energy for unknown purposes. What makes the recent image particularly compelling is its level of clarity. The disc-shaped form is not blurred or ambiguous. It appears distinct and mechanical, with a luminous rim and a darker center. This appearance has led some to liken it to an enormous wheel or craft of deliberate construction. To appear at such a distance from the sun and remain visible indicates extraordinary scale. Estimates based on its proximity suggest that if the object were truly near the sun, it could be several times larger than Earth itself. For many within the field of alternative astronomy, this sighting confirms long-held suspicions that advanced presences monitor or interact with our star. They argue that such structures may serve as beacons, refueling stations, or observational posts for civilizations far older than humanity. The Sun, a constant and predictable energy source, would be an ideal hub for interstellar travelers, a universal lighthouse in the galaxy. As more solar observatory data becomes publicly accessible, analysts continue to scrutinize every frame, hoping to catch further glimpses of the disk or similar objects. Some believe these sightings may mark the beginning of greater revelations, pieces of a larger puzzle that will eventually demonstrate that the solar system is far from uninhabited. Others view them as a reminder that humanity's understanding of physics and technology remains in its infancy, and that what appears mysterious today may one day become part of accepted science. In the heart of Mexico City, something strange recently unfolded in the sky, something that has left residents and UFO researchers alike questioning what they witnessed. A mysterious object, clearly visible and filmed in daylight, was seen hovering above the city. The footage, now circulating through social media and alternative investigative forums, shows a disc-shaped object with long, tendril-like appendages dangling beneath it. Described by many as resembling a jellyfish, this strange aerial phenomenon has yet to be acknowledged or reported by any major news network, sparking concerns of a potential cover-up. Eyewitnesses who saw the event were quick to react. Many pulled out their phones to capture what they believed could be a once-in-a-lifetime sighting. The object moved slowly and silently, its form unusually detailed for typical UFO sightings. Rather than the common blurry or indistinct images that have plagued UFO research for decades, this footage stood out for its remarkable clarity. The disc shape of the main body, paired with the peculiar appendages trailing beneath it, made it resemble a jellyfish floating not in water but in the sky. 
This isn't the first time Mexico City has experienced unusual aerial activity. In fact, the region has become somewhat of a hotspot for UFO sightings, with hundreds of reports surfacing over the past several years. From amateur videos taken during broad daylight to strange lights filmed during solar eclipses, Mexico City has a long history of unexplained aerial events. What makes this recent incident so noteworthy, however, is the silence that has followed it. Despite the video's clarity and the significant number of witnesses, no mainstream media outlet has reported on the event. That omission alone has led many to suspect that information is being suppressed, possibly to prevent public concern or to keep certain truths hidden. The shape of the object has sparked intense debate. To those familiar with UFO phenomena, the so-called jellyfish UFO is not a new concept. Reports of similar objects, domed with luminous tendrils, have appeared from various parts of the world. Eyewitnesses often describe these objects as eerily silent, almost alive in how they move, floating effortlessly across the sky in a manner that defies conventional understanding of aircraft mechanics. These sightings, though scattered and frequently dismissed, all share a common thread – a sense of the unknown, the alien, and the unexplainable. What makes this sighting above Mexico City so compelling is the image's unprecedented clarity. This footage has drawn in thousands of viewers and analysts. UFO researchers are calling it potentially the most detailed and vivid capture of a jellyfish UFO to date. The object's appearance, particularly the glowing appendages that extend downward, has fueled speculation about its origin and function. Some researchers have proposed that these tendrils may be part of an advanced propulsion system, perhaps a technology unknown to modern science, utilizing energy fields or gravitational manipulation. Others have taken a more speculative approach, wondering if the tendrils are biological in nature or serve an atmospheric interaction purpose, much like how jellyfish navigate their environment through trailing limbs. The notion that UFOs might not be entirely mechanical in nature, but instead may blend biology and technology, is one that has been gaining traction in certain research circles. The jellyfish shape could indicate a completely different category of aerial phenomena, one that challenges the traditional understanding of how advanced civilizations might traverse space or visit our planet. Perhaps what was witnessed in the skies of Mexico City was not a craft in the conventional sense, but something else entirely, an entity or a living mechanism, possibly not bound by the limitations of Earth's technology. Yet, for all the theories and fascination the sighting has inspired, there remains an eerie silence from official channels. No scientific organization, government agency or media network has acknowledged the footage. In an age when news travels fast and viral videos often command immediate attention, the lack of mainstream coverage is puzzling. To some, it points to an active effort to suppress the story, to control the narrative or to prevent public alarm. Others speculate that those with more knowledge about the incident are deliberately withholding information, possibly due to its implications. Cover-ups, particularly when it comes to unidentified aerial phenomena, are not a new concept. For decades, governments around the world have been accused of concealing encounters and data related to UFOs. The United States, for instance, only recently declassified certain military videos and reports, acknowledging that some aerial phenomena remain unexplained. In the case of Mexico City's jellyfish UFO, the absence of official commentary may suggest either a lack of explanation or a desire to avoid drawing attention to something not fully understood. Meanwhile, the video continues to make its rounds on alternative media platforms and within communities dedicated to the investigation of the unknown. Amateur analysts have slowed the footage, enhanced frames, and speculated on its trajectory and physical makeup. The more it is examined, the more questions it seems to raise. Why would such a clear sighting receive no official inquiry, and what was the object doing hovering over one of the most populated cities in the world? Some believe that we are approaching a tipping point in the public's relationship with the unexplained. As technology advances and more people carry cameras in their pockets, the ability to document strange events in real time grows exponentially. With more evidence emerging from civilians rather than institutions, the pressure is building for greater transparency and open dialogue about what is happening in our skies. The jellyfish UFO over Mexico City may not have made it to the evening news, but it has certainly made waves among those paying attention. Its distinct shape, 
exceptional visibility, and the surrounding silence only add to its mystery. Russia has also been a hotspot for sightings of these unusual UFOs. In the 1980s, several witnesses in Siberia reported seeing a massive jellyfish-like craft floating over a remote forested area. According to the witnesses, the object emitted a soft hum and appeared to pulse with light, its tentacle-like beams of light stretching toward the ground. Though the sighting was reported to authorities, it was never formally investigated, leading many to speculate about the possible cover-up of such phenomena during the Cold War. In another case from 2014, multiple residents of Moscow reported seeing a jellyfish UFO hovering over the city's outskirts. The object was said to be glowing brightly, with its tentacles occasionally flickering as it floated over residential neighborhoods. No official explanation was provided for the sighting, and despite video footage and photographs being taken, the mystery remains unsolved. In China, jellyfish UFO sightings have been reported for decades. One of the most widely reported sightings occurred in 2018, when several residents of a small rural village witnessed an enormous, jellyfish-shaped object hovering silently above a nearby mountain range. The object reportedly emitted a faint, pulsating glow, and its translucent form was clearly visible against the night sky. These sightings have often been dismissed by officials as weather balloons or other aerial phenomena, but the consistent descriptions of the objects, along with the corroborating accounts of multiple witnesses, make these explanations seem inadequate to many. The recent classified photo leak of a jellyfish UFO has only added weight to the idea that these sightings are not simply the result of misunderstandings or optical illusions. Jellyfish UFO sightings have also been widely reported in North America. In 2011, a group of campers in Arizona witnessed a strange glowing object hovering above the desert. The witnesses described it as jellyfish-like, with long glowing tendrils hanging from its main body. The object appeared to float silently for several minutes before disappearing into the night sky. Local authorities dismissed the sighting as a potential misidentification of a military aircraft, but no official investigation was conducted. Another notable case occurred in Canada in 2019 when several residents in British Columbia reported seeing a glowing jellyfish-shaped object in the sky during the early morning hours. The object was described as hovering low in the atmosphere emitting soft light and slowly moving across the horizon before disappearing into the clouds. Despite being witnessed in vastly different regions of the world, jellyfish UFO sightings share several key characteristics. These objects are almost always described as glowing or translucent, with a dome-shaped body and trailing tentacle-like beams of light. Witnesses consistently report that the objects move silently, and they often describe the objects as hovering or floating rather than flying at high speeds. The glow emitted by these UFOs is usually soft and pulsating, sometimes changing colors or intensifying before the object vanishes. The nature of these sightings has led to numerous theories about what jellyfish UFOs could be. Some researchers believe that these objects represent a type of advanced extraterrestrial technology, possibly using propulsion systems beyond human understanding. The tentacle-like beams of light could be a form of energy or electromagnetic field that allows the objects to hover and move in ways that defy known physics. Another theory suggests that these objects could be biological entities rather than mechanical craft. Proponents of this theory argue that the jellyfish-like appearance, with its translucent body and fluid movements, might indicate that these UFOs are living organisms, possibly originating from another planet. This theory, though speculative, is supported by the way the objects behave and their distinct lack of any mechanical features typically associated with aircraft or spacecraft. As the phenomenon of UFO sightings continues to gain traction around the world, an increasing number of military personnel have begun coming forward with their own personal encounters with unidentified flying objects. These whistleblowers, many of whom served in high-security, sensitive positions, describe sightings of strange aerial phenomena that defy conventional explanation. Often, these incidents involved advanced, unidentified technology that seemed to outmaneuver and outperform any known aircraft.